I invite you to join with me in the prayers of the community and at the end we'll say together the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day and for all the opportunities it holds to love and to be loved. We thank you for all the ways in which we come to know your love through the wonder of creation, through healthy relationships with family and friends, through the beauty of music and literature, science and all kinds of learning, through the love we have for animals and the love that they show us. We thank you this week for the continuing story of the Exodus and for all the ways in which you reveal to us your concern for the oppressed and for the marginalized, for the enslaved. We pray that your priorities would become our priorities and indeed that the whole world would come to know you and would move in the direction of justice and peace and freedom for all of your people. We remember this week as Remembrance Day approaches all those who have served in our armed forces and we give thanks for their willingness to place themselves at risk. For all the service of our folks who have gone into war-torn countries to bring healing and hope, for those who have stood up against oppression and moved to defend the helpless. We pray for all those people who are continuing to put their lives at risk on our behalf. And we're also mindful this week of those on the front lines and the fight against COVID-19. We pray for their safety and for their continued protection as we work towards finding good treatments and a vaccine. God, we pray for our neighbors to the south as they go through a lot of chaos in their election. We pray for the safe transference of power and for the recognition that American values are also the values that uphold every American's right to vote. We pray for healing in the divisions that have come to light. And we pray for our own country and our own divisions that you would help us to lift up our commonly held values and create a just society where the last and the least are taken care of. God, we pray for all the concerns in our hearts, for all the people that we worry about, and for our own needs. We pray for our church, especially as we move towards a modified reopening. We pray that you would give us the wisdom and the strength to continue to follow all the regulations that we need to to keep each other safe. We pray that our community would continue to feel connected to one another, even when we are apart from each other. Bless us and bless the ministry that has happened through Cedar United Church. We pray this morning that your healing hand would be with Jack and Margaret, Pat and Susan and Evelyn, Deb and James and Violetta, Gina and Trish, Shelley and Lucy, Marion and Kathleen, Jeannie and Marnie and Hugo. May each of these and all who are in need of it feel your healing presence, be strengthened in their bodies and minds and spirits. May they be given excellent medical care and all the comfort and care they need from their community. We pray also for those among us who are carrying the burden of loss and grief. 
and we pray especially for the families and friends of Don and Hazel, Ian and Sarah, Adam and Ev, Doug and Brenda, and for all of us who have that empty place at our tables and that empty space in our hearts, we pray that you would hold us close, that you would enable us to feel still connected to our loved ones and to trust in your grace that holds us in this life, in death, and in the life to come. Holy One, we lift up all our prayers to you, including the unspoken prayers in our hearts and minds, trusting in your love and grace. We pray in the name of Jesus, who taught us that you were a loving parent, ready to welcome us home. And we pray the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Friends, it's now time for the offering, and I just want to say thank you to all the ways that you make an offering of yourself in the world. We thank you if you're able to support us financially. We're thankful if you're able to support other charities and good works in the world financially, knowing that there are many ways that God's will is done throughout the world. We thank you for your volunteer time. We thank you for your prayer time. We thank you for all the ways that you reach out to others and let them know that they're loved and thought of. Thank you for your gifts. I invite you to share with me in a Remembrance Day liturgy 